definitely want to grab a color pop color um kind of feeling like something dark and hey 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 no no dark and mysterious kitty no um nope oh okay let's do this no kitty Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today we are going to be doing my Shop My Stash for April, well the end of April, and the beginning of May, the first half. I know I'm a little bit late on this, I like to put this up on the 15th of the month, but life has gotten away from me, and honestly, I've been pulling stuff out of my stash to wear, so there's that. Anyways, I am going to put a few things back from my drawer, and I wanted to show you why I was doing that, so... Let's just go ahead and do that. I'm going to keep this CoverGirl powder in 115, the Advanced Radiance powder, in my collection. I've been, <laughs> kitty, I've been loving it for um, setting my or my liquid foundation, so I'm going to keep that in there. I only got a couple uses out of this medium powder from Winky Lux, and this is the diamond powder. I'm going to keep that in there. I'm going to put this banana powder away from the Ulta Beauty collection. I really did like it and I did use it, but I'm just going to put it away for now. I'm going to be putting both of these foundations away, the BB Cream and the Bare Minerals Original Powder Foundation, because I'm going to be doing a full review on all of Tarte's foundations, so I'm going to pull the Tarte um, airbrush foundation in. So I'm just going to put these away just for the moment being. This is my orange uh, Real Technique sponge, and this is my L'Oreal sponge. This one needs to get washed. This one I just washed recently, and then I use. So, well, there's that. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep all these setting sprays still in here. The Cover FX one I'm almost done with. The Mario Badescu. Um, I don't know. I keep forgetting to use this, so I think I'm gonna put it on top of my desk here. And then my setting spray from Wet n Wild, I'm going to keep in here. This is for um, using to wet my brushes. So there's that. I am going to keep this Tarte powder foundation in. This is the um, Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation in the shade Medium Honey. And this is like the darker shade. I think I'm going to also pull in the lighter shade because my skin has been getting a bit lighter. But... I really love it. It's so it's so full coverage. Well, not full coverage, but definitely medium coverage for what I like. And I'm going to keep that in there because I'm going to do a review. And then this is another under eye powder that I like to use. I'm going to keep this in my drawer as well. So then I have all of these items over here. I have been using all of these items. So I think I'm going to keep them all in there. These are all the mascaras. I wear this one when I'm going to the gym. This is the Tarte Lifted. I've been wearing these two, the brownish black one I've been wearing on my no makeup days, and then the very black one I just kind of layer. This one, once again, is almost gone, and I just want to use it up. And then this one I use for my lower lashes, and this is the Tight Line by It Cosmetics. I really love that one. This Thrive Cosmetics, I've been using this like crazy for um, my inner corner and my, oh, what is it called? Brow bone highlight. It's just such a beautiful, more natural highlight. I really like that. And then these three, um, once again, I haven't really gotten a lot of use out of them. The two on the outside, these two are both um, eyeliners. And then this is a lip liner. I'm just going to keep them in there just to see if I can get some use out of them. So all that's going to stay the same as of right now. Kitty. And then I have the Balm in Stain Blush. I did wear this quite a few times. It's very, very dramatic on the cheeks, but I really did like it. This is the only blush that I have in this type of color. This is in the color tool, and I'm definitely going to keep this, but I'm going to put it in my collection. Then my Makeup Forever Bronzer. It's the Pro Bronze Fusion in the shade 20M. I'm going to keep this in my collection, obviously. It's one of my favorite bronzers, but I think I'm going to switch it out for a different contour color. Um, yeah, I just feel like it's having something different. So this is the one I use for my contouring. I am going to switch out the Milani highlighter. I really did enjoy using this. You need so little of it to make like a really dramatic highlight. And I really do like it, but I'm just going to switch it out for now. 
Then after I filmed my other one, I threw in this Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop. This is in the shade Lovely. And I've gotten so many compliments when I've been wearing this all over the lid. So I'm just going to keep that in there for now. Then I'm going to keep my brow gel and my brow brush in, the, in here. This one I only used twice. It was a little bit dark on me and a little bit shimmery for a bronzer. And honestly, it's just too dark right now for my skin color. I don't mind the shimmeriness, but in the summertime, it's going to look a lot better when my skin's a bit tanner. So I'm going to wait on this one for a little bit longer until I get a little bit more of a tan. Then my Dallas blush, I definitely use this quite a few times. I love this blush. It's such a beautiful um, neutral color. I just did that right over. Hold on, let me get you a real swatch of it. I did it right over a highlight, so it's right here. I just really love it, so definitely gonna keep that, but I'm gonna put it back in my collection for right now. And then I have my Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz, and this is in the shade Soft Brown <laughs> Kitty. Can you guys see my cat right now? Mantis, you're... Okay, let's just make this happen. Oh my God, kitty. <laughs> So it's just in a light brown color there. And then I have my Butter Blush, and this is in the shade Natural Glow, and this is like my base highlighter. I really love this one, but I'm gonna switch it out for something different. Kitty cat. <laughs> then in my Ulta 21 Days of Beauty haul, you guys saw that I put in my Stila um, Kitten Karma, and this is the Glitter and Glow. I really do like this, but it kind of got glitter all over my face the day that I used it, so um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this, but I want to keep using it and see how I feel about it truly. Then I have my Dandelion Blush. You guys know that this always stays in there. This is the progress I have. I've got a ton of pan and I'm looking to use this up. Then I'm going to take all three of these out. I was able to get use on all of them and I definitely want to keep them all for right now until I put them in my lipstick roulette. So I'm going to keep all of these but just put them back in my collection and get something different. Okay, and that's everything in my drawer for right now. Oh, you guys can not even see all that that was in here. So it's like pretty empty in this drawer. I'm feeling really sad that it's so empty. Let me turn it this way a little bit. And yeah, so let's go shop my stash and see what I can pull out for the month and see what I can get used up. So let's do that. So as per usual, you guys know that this is my lipstick drawer. I do wanna pull a couple of these in. I know I have a um, lipstick roulette going on, but I got a couple different colors that I really wanted to pull in. This is one of them. This is Honeycomb by Bite Beauty. Whoops, I was totally off the screen there, sorry. This is Honeycomb, and um, I've never used this, and Bite Beauty is a more natural brand, so I definitely want to use this and see if I like it before it goes bad. So I'm going to try that one. This one I want to try out too. This is the Tarte Amazonian Butter Lipstick from in the shade Pink Peony. Oh my god, this cat, I swear. I have not tried this. I have swatched it, and I don't know how I feel about it, so I'm going to try it out this month and see how I feel. No kidding. <laughs> well, everyone, sorry about that, but my cat just literally knocked over an entire glass container on the top of my um, Alex Nine dresser, and that was a lot of fun. So, anyways, I'm gonna bring this ColourPop color in Ziggy, and it is a matte X formula. So we're gonna see how this one goes, and yeah, keep on keeping on. So then, I think that'll be good there. And then I wanted to bring in like a fun gloss. I think I'm gonna try this one. This is the ColourPop, what is it? And Hello Kitty Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Super Cute and it is a sheer formula. So yeah, I'm gonna try that one out and see what I think. So this is my highlighter and face powder drawer. I do have a couple of face powders already, but I need a foundation. So I'm gonna use this Tarte foundation. This is the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. And I have this shade Light Neutral. And yeah, I'm gonna get some use out of this. Like I said, I'm gonna do a review on all of the Tarte foundations. And this is one of them. So yeah, I'm gonna do that one. And then... For highlighters, I need to bring in 
a light highlighter, like a everyday highlighter. So I'm gonna do the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. This is technically like a face powder, I think, but everybody here uses this as a highlighter because it is so <laughs> glowy on the skin. So this will be my natural highlighter for the month. And then I wanna get a glowy highlighter. You know what, I really wanna try this MAC soft and gentle. I did end up picking this up from the 21 days of beauty sale and I'm really excited to try this out. I have swatched it already because I couldn't wait because I am a child and when I get something in I just can't wait. So this will be my glowy highlighter for the month. So yeah I think that's all I'm going to grab from this drawer. Let me look. Um you know what, maybe I'll try out this Too Faced one as well. This is the Too Faced Candlelight Glow in Rosy Glow. And I'm not sure about this one. And honestly, if I don't like it, I want to be able to declutter it out of my collection. But we'll see if I like it or not. Honestly, I don't know. It's just not my favorite. So I'm going to try it out. And if I like it, I'll keep it. If not, then I'm going to be decluttering this. So I'm going to try that one out. But other than that, I have these four face products. Okay, so the one thing that I've been craving to reach for is this Hourglass palette. I have been wanting to reach for this every single freaking day. And I did reach for it a couple days. So I'm definitely going to bring this in. This has a setting powder, a highlighter, another setting powder, a bit darker. And then two blushes. I love both of these blushes. They look so good on my skin. And then a bronzer. The day that I wore this was to my sister's baby shower. And I got so many compliments on how beautiful and flawless my face looked. So definitely bringing this in. This was the one from last year. It's called the Ambi Ambient Lighting edit volume three so this was the first one i picked up and i'm so happy that i got it i need a contour color so i grabbed this highlight and contour palette by iby beauty what i end up doing is i end up mixing all three of these contour colors together i dug my finger into that one if you can see that but i end up mixing all of these three together and it gives me like my perfect contour color i really really love this palette and honestly, if there's only two that I would go for, it would be these two. This one is a bit orange toned, but this one's more of a red tone and this one's like a deep brown tone. So definitely go towards these two, but I definitely hit in that middle one as well. And I'm going to bring this in for my contour. And then I want like one more blush and one more bronzer just to kind of keep a little mix of stuff. I think I'm going to bring in this Becca bronzer and this is in the shade bronze bondy and here it is here it is a little bit red toned on me but honestly i'd rather things be red toned than orange toned so i do like this one and i'm going to bring it in and keep using it since i have a very glowy blush in my hourglass palette i think i'm going to go for one of these milani blushes um, this one's definitely a little bit more glowy and this one is not so I think I'm gonna try this Milani powder blush and this is in the shade 08 T Rose I think this one's a pretty common one but honestly I haven't used it very much and I just want to get more use out of it honestly it was a little powdery there wow I don't remember it being that powdery um, this one's definitely getting older but as you can tell like I haven't really used this at all so I'm gonna bring this one in and also I want to bring a tart one in because I feel like my tart blushes are getting a little bit neglected right now um, okay I think I'm gonna bring in this one this was one of my very first blushes it's in the shade captivating and you guys know this little hole right here is so that you can pop the blushes out of this so you can put them in a Z palette. That's why they spin like that. So if I was annoyed of it, the like the pathway being on the side there, I could just take it out and pop it around. But anyways, I'm not annoyed of it. It's okay. Um, I'm going to put this one in there. This is the Tarte Captivating, like I said. And that's a swatch of it. It's more of a peachy blush. And this is the Tea Rose. This is definitely like a pink pink. And that's a peachy pink. So I really do like this one. And it looks like I have never used it. But I know I have. And I'm going to put this one in there as well. Okay, so I think that's enough for blushes, bronzers, and contours. Let's move on. These are some palettes. 
Um, you guys know that I got the Persona palette. Let me know if you guys want a review on this palette, and I will do that soon. Um, honestly, I'm not going to pull any of these palettes in right now because I have four palettes that I'm working on, which I will show you at the end of this video. So these are my facial sprays, my, <laughs> my foundations all of my extras that are in here right now. I just got a ton of stuff. So let's see. Okay, I really don't want to pull any foundations in because I'm going to be working on my Tarte foundations for the month. Um, I think I'm going to pull this in there. This is the Becca Highlighter in, it's the Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in the shade Prosecco Pop. And I think I'm going to pull this in so that I can have a glowy base to my foundation and try that out. I think I'm going to. Okay, sold. I just sold myself on it. Okay, and here are the other foundations I want to add in. These are the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundations. I have two shades and usually I end up mixing them. This one's lighter and this one's darker, obviously. The lighter one is light neutral and the darker one is light medium neutral. I shift between light neutral and light medium neutral all like year basically based on how much sun my skin gets but I love that Tarte foundations like they're the same shades throughout the whole range like they don't change the shades and I love that so anyways these are the three products that I'm going to be bringing in I already have face powder or face um sprays and stuff like that okay guys we're getting lower down in our drawers here so this drawer, I definitely want to bring in one of these three um, loose powder shadows from Coverpop, uh, Cover Pop. what am I saying, Colourpop, and I have the shade uh, Maholland, which is like the browner, browner color, Typhoon, which is the more pink color, and Cameo, which is the more orange color. I think I'm going to bring in Cameo to try out, and I'll leave the other two for later on, but... Let's just open this and see what it looks like. So this is Cameo and clearly you cannot see anything on the top, but it's definitely like an orange, orange color. So I'm going to try that out and see if I like this. And I think that's going to be it from this drawer. Okay guys, so this is like my everything drawer, my nail drawer. So I'm going to bring in three nail polishes. These two are from ColourPop. This is Dust a Dream. And then this one is Be Fairy Afraid. And then I have this Art Deco one. This one was from Col LA Colors, but this one I actually got from the Dollar Tree. So I wanted to see if it was any good. And it's just like the super orange color. I can't find a name on it. There it is. Flamingo, which I would think it would be more pink, but whatever. We'll just roll with that. So this is pink. And then I have like a greenish, bluish, and then an orange. So I figured those would be good colors for the month to try out and see if I like. Okay, guys, so that is it. I put the nail polishes over here. I put my foundations here. And then I have these and my <laughs> sponges. I have all this here. My contour palette, my... Um, hourglass palette and then a few lip products and another blush over here and then my other blush products highlighters I should probably put these next to each other over there um, I'm not completely organized I kind of just like it like this though because then I know where everything is and I know how to find it and then I've also been using these are on top of my desk I've also been using the Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer. I have the shade Light Medium, and I love this. And then I've been using the Tarte Double Duty Beauty um, Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation. And I have the shade Light Neutral. And yeah, I've been just trying them out to see. As you guys can tell, I've gotten a lot of usage out of this one. Um, I want to do a full review on Tarte foundations for you guys, like I said. So these are going to be included in that. Okay guys, so I wanted to show you all of the palettes that I'm going to be working on for the month and I've already kind of been working on them already since my last review. This is the Tartlet in Bloom, obviously by Tarte. And yeah, obviously this one you can tell has gotten a lot of love. Some colors, not so much like this one here in these like super dark shades, but I love this palette. And I'm going to give you guys a full review on that palette. Then I have the Lorac. Pro Palette. This is the original Pro Palette, and this was one of my very first high-end purchases. I think this was my very first high-end palette purchase, 
And yeah, I'm going to give you guys a full review on that as well. So there's that. And then I have the ColourPop Give It To Me Straight. You guys have seen this in my last two videos. My last video I was wearing the one with just the orange eyeshadow with no mascara. I was wearing this shade here, Truth Hurts. And then the other one I layered this one on top and this one's actually. And I just put this all over my lid with this one as my transition shade. So those were the colors I was wearing if you guys were curious. I do always leave the colors in the description box below. But this is the palette and what i love about this palette are you ready the colors are actually on it just makes me so happy anyways in the very last palette that i have been using and will review for you guys is the morphe and kathleen lights palette here it is here you guys have seen me wear this green shade and this baby puke shade and these two shades here so i plan on getting a few more looks out of this palette and seeing how i feel about it so yeah Anyways, those are the four palettes that are going to be in my makeup drawer, essentially, but just on top of my desk for the month. Oh my god, they're so dirty. I can't handle it. Um, anyways, so yeah, these are what I'm going to be using for the month. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing all the products that I'm going to be using for the month and shopping in my stash with me. Sometimes I know, like, what exactly I'm going to grab for, and then other times I just don't. So if you guys are still loving these videos, make sure you give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more from me. Like I said, I have a couple videos coming very soon. Um, I also have a ColourPop swatch video coming up very soon as well. I'm really excited about that one. But yeah, just let me know what you guys want to see next. If you guys have any specific video ideas, I would love to hear what you guys like to see. I don't know, I just feel like talking today apparently. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Ooh.